first a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to come before you once again to share your word, to share what you have given me, to share how you have blessed me. I ask that you empty me right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let every word that come forth be directly from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Again, our theme today is I do not, I don't need to fit in. I am custom made. Amen. Amen. What I want to ask everybody to do while you're listening is think, remember all of the questions that I ask while I'm speaking. Amen. So the first thing is, what does it mean to try to fit in? Amen. To fit in is to try to be someone that you are not. It means to try to force what is not natural. It is to conform, to blend, or to try to be compatible with something or someone that you are not compatible with. It's like if you've ever heard the saying, trying to fit a, uh, a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't work. What happens when we try to fit in. We get caught up in situations that we have no business in. We hang around people who really don't like us because they know we're trying to fit in. And they're probably just using us anyway because they know, again, that we are trying to fit in. People who are trying to fit in tend to have low self-esteem. Their lives revolve around what other people are doing what they're wearing, what they're saying, where they're going, amen? But that's not for us as children of God, amen? Amen, that's not for us as children of God, amen? amen? When you're trying to fit in, you lose who you are, who God called you to be, amen? amen? Why do people try to fit in, amen? And what I came up with on that is for fear of missing out, amen? But what are we missing out on? Amen. When God tells us in his word to be separate. Amen. In God, we are not missing out on anything. Everything that we could ever need is in him. Amen. Romans 12, 2 tells us to be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Amen. It's telling us that we do not have to fit in. Amen. A lot of our youth, they go through what we call peer pressure. Amen. And, and they get caught up in, as a youth, I did as well. Even as an adult, I did as well. I can admit that. Get caught up in trying to fit into a crowd, try to fit into what somebody thinks you should be. And it always feels unnatural because it's not what God has for you. He calls us to be something way more than what somebody else is. Amen? He custom makes us for what, what we are supposed to be in him. Amen? Amen. Why don't we have to fit in? Because we are custom made. Amen. He knew us before we even knew ourselves. Amen. He formed us in our mother's womb. Amen. He cared about us that much that he numbered the hairs on our head. And it all comes back to how much he loves us. We do not have to be a part of the world because that's not what he called us to be. He custom made us so that we can offer something different. Amen. In him. Amen? Amen. 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 Um, Psalms 139, 13 and 14 reads, For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. We can have confidence in knowing that God made us. He fearfully and wonderfully made us. He made us to be exactly who he wants us to be, not anyone else. Amen. If you go down to Psalms 
39 and 17 and 18, I, I love this. It says, how precious also are thy thoughts of me. God thinks very highly of us. Amen. It goes on to say, oh God, how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Can you imagine trying to count the sand? Amen. That's how wonderful God's thoughts are of us, of me, of you. Amen. He loves us that much. And he thinks about us that much so that it would be like trying to count the sand. Can you imagine just taking a, a penny-sized amount of sand and trying to count it one by one? That's amazing to me that God thinks that highly of me, that he thinks of me that much, that he's always with me. Amen? I think that's just so awesome. Amen? I do not need to fit in because I am custom made. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 6.18, if we could pull that up real quick. Amen. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord. We do not have to fit in because we are sons and daughters of God, of the King. Amen. There's nothing else that we need to look for in this world besides what God has for us. He tells us how much he loves us in his word. If we get lost or if we get off track, he has something for us in his word. There's always something encouraging in the word. There's always something that we can look to that shows us that we are custom made by God. And that shows us just how much he loves us. Amen. And, and as I was studying this, this lesson, I just kept thinking about the youth and the young adults. It's really hard for them at times to not get caught up in the crowd, to not get caught up in the world, to not get caught up in, in drugs, alcohol. Amen. Rumors. He say, he say, she say, drama. There's always something. There's so much stuff out here in the world that they can see, hear, and touch, and not to mention just on the internet. There's a huge influence on our youth and young adults in this world, but you can come out of it. You can come out of it. You know, they look at us adults like we haven't been through anything. We need to start sharing with them some of the stuff that we've been through in our youth because they don't think that we know anything. They don't think that we've dealt with rumors. They don't think that we've dealt with drama. They don't think that we've dealt with, you know, being in different relationships. They don't think that we've made that many mistakes. Amen. So many people come up to me and say when they hear of things that I've been through, you did that? You went through that? Not you. You live like, yes. Amen. And, and I don't know what it is about how I look that looks like I haven't been through anything, but sit down and talk to me for a minute. I can tell you a few things, amen, and, and to our youth, listen to your parents, listen to the elders around you, amen. They can help you not make a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of wisdom just in this room, amen, and when you make that change, you, you're going to hear a lot of stuff from your friends. You will. You'll hear a lot of stuff. People will ask you what's wrong with you. What are you doing? Why you don't want to do this? Why you don't come around? Why don't you smoke anymore? Why don't you drink anymore? Why you don't want to go to the parties anymore? Or whatever it is. Amen. But you just tell them nothing's wrong with you. Ask them what's wrong with them. Amen. There isn't anything wrong with you. You're the daughter and the son of a king. Amen. And there isn't anything wrong with that. And when you come up against that, God will keep you. He will continue to bring you joy in that decision that you make. We talk about choices. Yeah. Make the choice to serve God. Yeah. Make the choice to know that you are custom made by him. Make the choice to know that you can be you in him. Amen? Yeah. Amen? There's a song that says, I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? Amen? Ask him to come to church. Show him what it's all about. And then they'll make that change, and then they'll get to know the fact that they don't need to fit in. 
Amen. Because they are custom made, just like I am, just like you are. Amen. Amen. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.